Uh, right, straight back to our top story, uh, the sacking of Thomas Tuchel. New details emerging now of what led to the decision and the context behind his departure. Let's get more on this with our chief reporter, Carve Solikol, in Milan. You might be far away from us, but close to this story, Carve. Uh, tell us what you know. Uh, yes, Thomas Tuchel uh, lost his job in a face-to-face -face meeting uh, with the Chelsea owners. Uh, now, the Chelsea co-owners, two of them, Todd Burley and Behdad Ekbali, were actually at the game against Dinamo Zagreb last night. And I know uh, a lot of people may be thinking that this seems like a knee-jerk reaction. It's come out of the blue. Uh, everything seemed to be going pretty well for Thomas Tuchel. He seemed to be close to the new owners. Uh, there had been, of course, some disappointing results. But I think behind the scenes, there were issues between Thomas Tuchel and the new owners of the club. Uh, we've got a new prime minister at the moment in the UK. We're going to have a new uh, Chelsea manager pretty soon as well. Uh, we get a lot of different people uh, leading the Conservative Party, I think four in the last six years, pretty similar to Chelsea. So many managers coming and going. Now, Thomas Tuchel had been there for 18 months. Uh, you know, you can't take away the fact that he won the European Cup. He got to two cup finals. Chelsea finished third. And the new owners did try and make it work with Thomas Tuchel. They backed him uh, in the transfer window. No club in the world spent more money than Chelsea did in the window that just closed six days ago. But behind the scenes, there were issues with his relationship uh, with the new owners. The new owners wanted a fresh start at Chelsea. They wanted a new culture. They were very, very hands-on. Uh, they wanted to be involved in everything and they wanted Thomas Tuchel to have a very close relationship with them as well. And I don't think he's that kind of person. Uh, we've seen, for instance, Marina Gravskaya leave Chelsea. We've seen uh, Bruce Buck, the chairman, uh, leave Chelsea. We saw Petr Cech, the technical director, uh, leave Chelsea. He was almost uh, one of the last men standing from the previous regime under Roman Abramovich. And I think he was more comfortable working for people like Roman Abramovich uh, and Marina Granovskaya than he has been working for the new owners. Look, I think we should, we should also mention the fact that you know, somebody has lost their job. Uh, Thomas Tuchel will be very upset today. He's a very, very good man. He's always been brilliant to deal with as far as the media are concerned. Uh, I know a lot of people will be jumping on his back, maybe criticising him. We have to consider the fact that we're talking about somebody who's lost their job. And I think the bigger picture is that he just didn't get on well enough with the new owners. It happens uh, in every company around the world. A new boss comes in, there's a new regime, there's a new culture, and you just don't fit in with that new regime and new culture. And if that happens in a football club, and especially a football club as big and as demanding as Chelsea Football Club, uh, then ultimately the manager is going to lose his job. And that's what's happened with Thomas Tuchel.